Okay, welcome back. Now, today we're going to be flashing the LCD3 display. So, we've connected up the LCD3 to the ST link as per the wiring recommendations here, and I'll give you a link to this. So, basically, pin one I have connected to J7, which is on the top here, the first pin. Now, it says here don't connect, but if you're not running any external power, then you can use J7 to the 5.5 volt connector there to give the um, LCD some power. Okay, now pin 2, it says connect it to swim, pin 3, connect to ground, pin 4, connect to reset. Okay, so now that's connected, you can see we have got some power. It might look a little bit different to yours because I've already flashed mine, but the first thing you need to do, absolutely first thing you need to do, is erase what's currently on there because um, the protection it's currently locked okay so we're going to need some software okay so we're going to need this thing called st link visual programmer so we'll have a quick look at that i'll give you a link to where to download that and you have to you do have to sign up um, but it's no problem i haven't really received any emails from those guys so they're not um, not sending you a whole lot of spam, but yeah, there's no other way to download it, unfortunately. Um, okay, so what we want to do is configure. All right, so normally it will come up with this if you haven't configured it before, but we want to go down to there. We want to pick ST Link as the hardware, USB as the port, Swim as the programming mode, and down the bottom here, we are going to use the STM8 S105X6. Okay, now if we're programming the controller, we will be using the X4. So remember, the LCD and the controller are slightly different in the way they're programmed. All right, so what we want to do now is we're going to try to do some reading. I'm going to try to read all tabs, which is that button there. And it comes up and says the device is protected, which is standard. I told you it was protected. So all we're going to do, you can't even write the firmware of this. But what we can do, we can go down here to the option byte tab. Okay. We can go here to read protection off. And we're going to flash that to the current tab. So that's the only thing it's going to let you flash. All right. And it's flashed it and it's happy and it's all verified all right now what i'm going to do is unplug plug back in and oh my god there is no power so you've actually what you've done now is you've erased the firmware on there um, by turning off the right protection on protected firmware it actually erased the firmware so there's no way you can get a copy of protected firmware um, so anyway so what we've got to do now is flash our own firmware all right now let's go to the forum um we will go well let's go we'll, i'll give you a link to this page and we're going to go here to where it says install the lcd firmware okay we're going to say download and flash our firmware we're going to go down at the bottom Download our improved firmware. And that's going to take us to a GitHub site. Okay. Now here are the um, here are the different firmwares. Now the software we're using in Windows only likes hex files. So we need to find a hex file. Okay. And we're going to load the, um, the point .2 version hex file. So I'll give you, there's a trick on doing this. So I'll click on that. Okay, now it says that that's the uh, 0.2 hex. Now, if you go to where it says raw, down the bottom, so what we've got to do is right click, save link as, and then just save that. Okay, save that to uh, somewhere on your drive. Okay, I'll put in downloads. Okay, it's a small file. 
Okay, so we're going to go back to this. We're going to go to the Program Memory tab, and we're going to read the firmware in. So I'll just search by the date modified. Oh, there it is there. Sorry, it was right at the top. Okay, all right. So I'm going to pick that hex file. I'm going to open it. All right, as you can see, it's loaded into the program memory tab. So make sure that tab is selected. And then now we're just going to press flash. You can kind of flash all tabs, it doesn't matter. And we're programming that now. You can see that's done. It's been verified. Um, we've still got no power. I'm going to unplug. Plug in, and there you go, firmware has been installed. Now nothing's going to work until you've installed the firmware on the motor as well. But this gets the LCD flashing out of the way, um, so that next we can have a look at um, connecting up to the motor. Alright, uh, sorry, one before we go, you may need to do some flashing a few times, because this firmware is changing a lot. Um, the problem with this connector is that it doesn't actually fit inside the casing so I've basically just put it in there sort of temporarily which is okay it still works but we're gonna have to really do something to um, to actually get it to work you know so so we can come back to it without pulling the casing apart uh, I've had kind of one thought on this maybe we could um, solder some wires to the back of that drill a hole in the back of the casing and use one of the plugs just one of the rubber plugs to seal that up from um, from the back so I'm not really, I haven't decided yet but uh, that's something I was thinking now the other bugger which is really a bugger for a lot of people and myself is that the connector for this thing is actually different to the one that's on the um, current display so you're not going to be able to plug this in, we're actually going to have to cut these wires and um, and connect them up and that's going to be a real shame because it kind of means that we can't sell the old display either because we're going to have to cut that up um, anyway uh, yeah bugger if anyone's got any good solutions on connecting this up to the TSDZ without destroying everything let me know um, yeah I mean you could always like get into the back of this and solder straight to the board, but um, you know, I don't know if we really want to go there either. All right, thanks for watching. Now, next, we're going to get into trying to read the motor. All right, thanks.